thank you for giving me this opportunity. In this presentation, we explain the proposed method. This presentation consists of as follows. At first, making the ground truth for multi-class semantic segmentation is introduced and the proposed method will be discussed. The goal of these challenges is to develop effective algorithms for agriculture pattern recognition. So designed model should be uh, classified the several uh, classes such as cloud shadow, double plant, plant of skip, and so on. In these challenges, our data sets are provided and every image has four channels, RGB and NIR. And uh, ground truth for binary classes is provided. And this figure shows the example of training dataset. Uh, to make multi-class ground truth, all of ground truth data is, in, is put together. Also, to avoid overlap between uh, pixels, we used two types of order of classes. And this is example of ground truth for multi-class semantic segmentations. And green pixels mean uh, cloud shadow, um, purple is uh, standing water, yellow is waterway, brown is with cluster, Pink is double plant, orange is plant scale, and blue sky is background. And next is uh, Beijing architectures for semantic segmentations. We use residual dense net with squeeze and excitation block as the base model. And this figure shows the RDSA networks. IDSC is based on UNET architectures, so it has encoder and decoder architectures. In IDSC networks, uh, residual dense blocks are widely used. One residual dense block uh, contains uh, five convolutional layers, as you shown this figure. Uh, also, to utilize the interdependencies between the channel of convolutional features, squeeze and excitation blocks are used. SC blocks are concatenated at the end of residual dense block. And this, this table shows a uh, training setup for base model. Activation function is rectified linear unit. Optimizer is atom optimization. And we used uh, data augmentations such as flip, rotations, brightness, Gaussian noise. And this is a uh, prediction research for based model. The left side is uh, input images, and the right side is prediction research. To compare the other architectures, uh, we uh, summarized uh, intersection of unions. Uh, it can be verified that some classes is higher than the other architectures, but there is some classes that uh, that is uh, lower than the other architectures. Because plant skip and standing waters are minority classes. So, based model is biased to the frequent classes. To compensate the recognition performance for minority classes, we propose expert networks. The goal of expert networks is to segment the pure classes, and in these challenges, uh, two of expert networks are trained for minor classes. Uh, although expert networks are based on RDSE, but it has a uh, light architectures. And this figure shows the overall uh, 
architectures of proposed method. When based model predict minority classes, expert networks is operative. The prediction results from each network is combined and final prediction is used to analyze uh, agricultural recognitions. And this, is, and this is an example of prediction results. Uh, it can be verified that a based model misclassify outstanding motors. However, by using expert networks, it is compensated. In this case, also a based model can be improved by expert networks. And this table shows the effectiveness of expert networks. Uh, it can be verified that the performance of based models can be improved by using a uh, proposed method. Last is conclusions. In these challenges, we propose recommendation model for agriculture pattern analysis. Because of class imbalances in training dataset, the based model is biased to the frequent classes. To solve these problems, uh, expert networks, which are segmentation architectures for pure classes, are combined with the segmentation networks. Uh, however, we are not sure the effectiveness of proposed method. So, uh, generalizations for expect networks will be addressed in our future work. And last slide is references for these challenges. And thank you for listening.